As 27-year-old Lian Blue Gardens, she has no idea she is just seconds away from an encounter with one of the most venomous snakes in the United States, the Western Diamondback. During sweltering Tucson days like this, it spends its time coiled up in the shade of low-growing shrubs, like the kind found in Lian's backyard garden. What, what the? Wait, OK. What was that? What, was, what is that sound? Is that a snake? Now, we're putting you in Lian's place. As you reach down for a ripened tomato, a four-foot-long rattler accelerates at an inescapable 220 miles per hour, as fast as an arrow shot from a bow and heat-sensing pits behind each of the Diamondback's nostrils detect the slightest difference in temperature, enabling it to target with lethal accuracy. Then, the snake's hollow one-inch fangs pierce Leon's knuckles, instantly delivering a potentially deadly dose of hemotoxic venom. As soon as it's injected, digestive enzymes in the venom begin destroying tissue and may trigger a deadly process where the skeletal muscles break down and the blood fails to coagulate, which can lead to uncontrollable bleeding. Wait, OK. What was that? Would you know how to beat the bite? What would you do? A, race to find a cord to tie off the bite site. B, carefully wash the wound with soap and water. Or C, cut the wound and suck out the poison. Here's what you should consider. Growing as large as seven feet long, the diamondback rattlesnake is responsible for more deaths than any other snake in North America. And it injects a deadly tissue-destroying venom right into its victim's system. Ah! The average heart pumps roughly 2,000 gallons of blood through 60,000 miles of blood vessels each day. It takes just one minute for all that blood and whatever foreign bodies might be in it to make the round trip to your heart. There's no question you need medical help. Really hurts. And fast. Make your choice. A. B. Or C.